Welcome back to the Bluegrass Breakdown Radio Show. We got our special guest, Derek Abney, on tonight. How you How you doing, Derek? I'm doing great. I'm glad to be on the show, guys. Great. We'll jump right into. Um, you had mentioned that you made it to the the Kentucky game last last week. It was a disappointing loss. Um, yes. But did you take anything positive from the game? Well, um, if you don't know, I live here down in Charleston, South Carolina. So I, I've been, we've been here uh, for two of the home games and have been to both. And unfortunately, this last one was very difficult to swallow. Um, I got to speak with Tommy Cook, who's a GA, GA on the team. He played with me. He was a receiver one year under me. Uh, and I talked with him a little bit about the game and, um, like most, he's been kind of searching for answers. He's a receiver coach. He helps out with the special teams. And, um, you know, I think the defense has been playing relatively well till this last game. But at the same time, I think at some point you kind of you, you bang your head up against the wall enough trying to do your best and know maybe the other side of the ball isn't really uh, effectively doing their job. And it's hard to really uh, to sustain a whole game in the SEC. And so it was a little bit of a letdown on defense, but obviously the worst part was, you know, the offense and just kind of the lack of production and, and, and any attempt to run or to pass. So to answer your question, it's hard to take much from it. I think Ryan did another good job punting for the most part, I think. Um, but overall, it was just – it was very disappointing, unfortunately. Yeah, and again, we appreciate you coming on. We part of the reason we do this is because we want to reach out to a lot of of, of past players, uh, kind of what we call a "Where are they now?" type segment. And uh, mm -hmm. um, again, we know everybody knows who you were when you were at UK, but uh, kind of break down your career from when you went to UK uh, and then on, uh, if you don't mind. Sure, absolutely. Well, um, I graduated in uh, 2003. That was my last season. I was there from 99 to 2003. And I got drafted by the Ravens in the se seventh round to be their kick returner. Well, um, my first game was against the Falcons. It was a preseason game, and Glenn Packlack was uh, the punter for them. And my first play of the game was a kick return after halftime. And I uh, proceeded to dislocate my left shoulder. <laughs> but uh, so I had not missed a high school game and um, played in every college game. I, I got hurt in the Georgia game, uh, two games in from the end of my season. So played every single game and, of course, get hurt in my first play in my NFL career. Played the rest of that game, but made it. Uh, it just wasn't effective to make it through the season. So they put me on injured reserve that year. Uh, the following year, uh, they let me go. They had a guy that ran two kicks back that year, so they had found their kick returner. <laughs> let me go. I went to uh, the Bears, and then um, shortly thereafter, I think I was on there with them for three weeks in the preseason, then went to the Lions. And I really needed – I did not – fortunately, I didn't get surgery on my shoulder. I think looking back, um, I should have. Uh, and so – when that really didn't work out for me, I had to uh, get my shoulder fixed and, because it wasn't going to be effective enough for me to play football. So I had to let football go in uh, 2005, 2006. And then uh, fortunately met my wife when I got hurt. And we married uh, in 2006 and um, moved from Baltimore to Louisville. Uh, for six months, I told her, give me six months, you'll absolutely love it. And uh, six months couldn't come fast enough for her, so even she could, she bleeds blue, I guess, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> and so we ended up going to uh, Charleston, that's where I am now, and I'm doing civil engineering work I've done for, um, working on my, starting in my fifth year. So um, that that's kind of a synopsis from since I, I was done with football. Well, that's great. A lot of people don't get to hear that type of stuff, where they go after they you know, after they get out of college. So we do appreciate you sharing that with us. Uh, and I know I know that a lot of uh, people online and even myself, uh, a lot of times when you were coming out, you were considered almost to be an identical player to maybe like a Wes Welker type player. Mm -hmm. um, and I know he was kind of coming out at the same time as you uh, as far as that goes. And I, like I said, I was reading forums and boards and stuff about comparing uh, you to, to him. Do you consider yourself kind of a similar player? Um. 
I think so. I think Wes actually, he was a little bit bigger than I was, um, but he was a tough player, and that's what I prided myself on was being a tough player, and I'm an instinctual player, and I think, you know, it's a testament to him how well he's done. Uh, and I I, um, I think, you know, he – he took advantage of his opportunity in the NFL. It really is being in the right place at the right time and um, nothing to take, a, take away from him. But, uh, you know, I, it just, the cards weren't right for me. Right. And that's just how it worked out for me. Fortunately, I, um, got my degree and, and, um, I'm, I, I'm in a great place right now and it's worked out for the best. Um, but definitely it would be, you know, an honor really to be compared to him in my game. Definitely, and like I said, every every UK fan out there really thinks of you as as one of the one of their favorite players ever. Actually, I'm on the show right now. I'm showing your your uh, punt return for from the Mississippi State game. Your tie your record tying eighth was it right? Your eighth. Yes, that's correct. Yep, that was my eighth at home against Mississippi State, and um, with everybody kind of pushing me in, so I don't think it could have gotten any better to have a, a record breaking return and. Um, remember it like yesterday. It was a fantastic feeling for me yeah, you can uh, see, to be a part of that. You can see so much excitement in everyone's eyes. And I was actually at that game, so I remember it uh, very fondly. <laughs> um, but, uh, yeah, that, that was great. We were actually we were looking it up, and we saw that you were – you actually had the – you tied the record right in the NCAA That's right. for the most. And then we saw that uh, recently, what was it, uh, Larry Beavers from Wesley College, maybe had – they have 13 total. But when you're playing in the SEC, you can't really – you can't really compare that. So Wesley College, what is, is that? What D one A or what is that? I'm not sure. No way that's, that's D one. That, no way that's D one. Right. That's why okay. we're saying it doesn't matter. You still hold the record. I think it's a barber college. So I'm not. I still got that. Right. Yeah, I still got that. <laughs> so you are the Division one uh, touchdown return record holder. Is that accurate? Tied. Yeah. yeah. Um, I am tied for the most career um, special teams returns, kickoffs awesome. and punt returns combined with eight. Um, also, and I may have this wrong, but um, I, I was unaware of anyone that has, like we said in um, Division 1A, to have a kick, a catch, a punt for touchdowns oh, as wow. well. And I did that at Florida on CBS. That was probably my, probably my best game. Oh, that was in one game. I remember that game. Yes, in one game. That's right. <laughs> that was in uh, 2000. When was that? Two. It was at Florida 2002, uh, two, 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 my junior two. year, when we were on sanctions. And, um, yeah, I ran that one back. My, all my friends back in Wisconsin where I grew up got to see it because it was on CBS and had a kick, like I said, a catch and a punt. And really it was one of my, my – that kick return – um, was really probably the most motivated time I had been as a football player. And I say that because I distinctly remember when I was done, I put the football down in the end zone and I put up two fingers because that's how many touchdowns we needed to get back into this game. We were just playing awful. So it was really kind of a unique moment that when I got the football, I just felt like I knew that we were going to score a touchdown. And really, I think that was probably just – you know, just from that motivation and that confidence to get in the end zone, that was one of the plays that I remember as my most motivated. Was that the uh, the hundred and one yarder? Is that? Yeah, that's yeah. it right there. If you see, yeah, someone I thank them. Two different people have put up two of my touchdowns. <laughs> Don't know who they are. Yeah. <laughs> I've sent them like emails thanking them each once. Never got a reply, but that one is one of the two that are probably one of my best are up there and and that was the 101 kickoff kick yard kickoff return that's correct you yeah, that's, mean they'd put them on youtube or something yeah that's the one i actually yeah, played i played it up show. on youtube there's two of my plays on youtube and only two and uh two different people i don't know and like i said i i think them never got a reply uh, but that's how they got up there, and I, re I really need to do something about that. I need to put some of my own up there. You should. <laughs> on my account. You know, technology has moved forward. I think I, I can catch up at least, you know, we and should do, do that. that for you. <laughs> but uh, but that's, that, was one of, that was one of my best ones and just happens to be up there. Yeah, well, I, that's the one we played. We had your Mississippi State one we have. I, actually, that's from the YouTube we played on the show just that's right. now. So. That's right. So that's, uh, that's, that's great stuff, man. 
So what do you do now? I, I mean, when, when you're a football player or any type of player and you play as much as you did, how do you stay competitive? You still have that in you, I'm sure. So how, what do you do now to stay competitive? Well, um, my big hobby is uh, basketball refing. And it's kind of interesting because with me and two other refs, it's kind of our own little team. And we really kind of click together and have you know our own responsibilities just like a football game. And so that's kind of what I do as my comp competitive fire and stuff. And I also play a lot of basketball until this last August when I dislocated my ankle playing basketball. But those are the two big things. Uh, my big one is, is refereeing high school basketball. That's great, Derek. Um, um, we really do appreciate you coming on. We got a, actually a hard break here, and we do. It's it's great to talk to you. Like I said, the fans really wanted to hear from you and see. You. Anytime, anytime, <laughs> absolutely, guys. I enjoyed it immensely. Tell Chris, I, tell Chris Bernard I said he's ugly. <laughs> <laughs> I'll pass that along for you, Matt. <laughs> All right, appreciate it, man. Thank you, Derek. All right, guys. Thanks Have a lot. A Have a good one, Derek. Thank you. you too. Yeah. Great guy. Couldn't be a nicer guy. Wow. wow. And couldn't have been more of a. I'm a Cards fan, but I'll be honest, when watching the Kentucky games at that time, there's nothing more exciting than somebody bringing one to the house. And when he was on the field, there was nothing more exciting than watching that. Absolutely. I mean, any game like that, it, it's one of those moments that it doesn't happen very often. You want to watch it. You know, it doesn't matter who you're a fan for. No, no it's, you, you want to, it, it's part of sports history. I yeah. mean, that was electric when he was on the field. Every in game. that era, it was just insane. Just like Devin Hester. Just see like the, Devin see Hester. See the ball go back, you know. They should just rename the rule the Derek Abney rule, where, you know, the, the extra 10 yards so nobody can kick it back, take the kick back. <laughs> I mean, that's... Well, might as well. I mean, he, he deserves it as much as anybody because he took over every game that I saw. Sure, well, right. well, we're going to head out to a quick break here, but when we do, before we do that... We're actually going to give you a little Terrence Jones Horrible. rap, if you know what I mean. Worst rap and worst musical performance ever. No, Better than Luke Whitehead. <laughs> hey, we're still on. We're just jamming right now. This is so horrible. Are we on? We're on? We're just jamming right now. This disgraces Derek. See, this isn't even him right here. Skip to him. No. A minute. He's minute ten. Minute ten, I believe. Here coming up right now. Minute 10. Oh, wow. It's like one, one third. Maybe it's one third. Just let it play through. Right now, y'all about to get lucky. The real T. Joe's about to teach you about Kentucky. Left or right. John's dancing. Left or right? Does he go right? He does. No, he doesn't. Yeah, I haven't seen that. Everybody I'm sure the scouting report is for He Everybody did. Remember that dunking at South Carolina? He crossed the dude. Don't. That's because you're not a sports fan. All right, we're going to go to a quick break here. Leading out with this. I just wanted to play that because I like it and everyone else thinks it's awesome. We'll be right back with the Kentucky Sports Talk Co. radio show. Next time we're going to have uh, next segment. It's Trevor Kelsey, correct? Yep. Bacon will be with us right when we get back from the break here. Get ready. Do it. 